it's on now. Ken Shamrock said he was going to use the jab. Will Barry be able to impose his will early? Take advantage of that height, weight, and reach advantage. Again, Shamrock has seen it, done it all in the world of mixed martial arts. Barry's ready to unload with that right hand, and there it was. Shamrock remains very patient, focused. One thing I like about Barry so far is that inside left low kick. That is really, really a chopping weapon. It's the fastest I've ever seen him move. Did lose weight, preparing for this fight. Put together a new training camp as well. Obviously taking on a pioneer in the sport, a Hall of Famer, a trailblazer. Wanted to be as ready as he could be. A big fight, a huge night. The British debut of Ken Shamrock. Here in cage range as he lands that left. Yeah, he timed that left jab perfectly, right on the chin of Barry. And it was all, like he said, it was a stiff left jab. Very stiff. Barry comes back with a couple of left jabs of his own. Barry said he was going to let it all hang out as soon as the bell rang, but he hasn't done that yet. Minute and a half gone. Barry lands to the right. Shamrock came back with a counter strike, and now Barry. Beginning to open up a bit on the veteran. Barry showing a little more confidence now with that jab and good foot movement by the six foot three, 240 pound British fighter. Ken has never really been a kicker, and thus we haven't seen him throw a single kick yet, but he hasn't been aggressive with the jab either. Well, out of his 26 victories, Shamrock's recorded 22 submission wins just to give you an idea of what his modus operandi will be in this fight. Looking forward to the takedown. Barry delivers the knee. Barry also blocked that takedown very well. Ken got a body lock for a second, but he had to let go. So far, Barry doing a great job of keeping the smaller Shamrock at bay. Good combination. Nice exchange. Barry went with a right uppercut to the stomach, and it was actually a really good shot. He's really tightened up his standing game. The Barry kick. delivering the jab, trying to probably work his way closer, deliver the combinations, because while it's nice to establish an effective jab, it's what you do with the follow-up that will score the points. I agree 100% because the jab in itself is primarily a setup weapon, I mean, unless you're George Foreman, of course. Hey, Robert Buzzberry, I don't know if you can ask for a better start. There's already a mouse below the right eye of Ken Shamrock. Yeah, that left hook is found to spark a couple times for Buzzberry. Oh, that jab hurt Ken. And Shamrock goes down oh. faster than a part of Guinness at the local pub. Robert Buzzberry! Buzzes this crowd and scores the TKO win over Ken Shamrock. Barry knew he had him. He jumped on him. He finished the job. He really hurt Ken with that punching your stand standing. And in 2005, he, he came in a little bit strong, but not good in the technique department. But right here, he's showing good hands. I mean, he's dropping his hands a little bit, but Ken isn't countering. And look at that. It was a glancing right hand right on the cheekbone. And Grant knew that was it. And it really was the jab that set that one up because that left jab had already rattled Shamrock. Yeah, this jab is a really hard jab. Uh, Buzz is trying to set Ken up for a straight down the middle shot because he's throwing that hook. And that jab really rocked Shamrock. And that right hand dropped Ken. And Ken was done right here. It was a good stoppage. Buzz didn't need to grind anymore. Buzz didn't. But Buzz just kept to his game plan, kept throwing punches, kept busy. He will clean up some of the things in his standing arsenal, like dropping his hands when he punches, but he didn't need it tonight. 